Despite being mummified in the icy Austrian landscape 5,300 years ago, Xi the Iceman is continuing to reveal secrets of our ancestral past. In addition to suffering from the world's first known case of Lyme disease, a new study has found he was also infected with a common bacterium, Helicobacter pylori, which is present in about half the population today. Experts say the find could reveal how disease spread at the time of his death, the discovery could even reveal more about the complex movements of the first Europeans. Researchers at the European Academy, URAC, uncovered the genome of H. pylori through analysis of the entire DNA of the contents of Xi's stomach. Normally, the bacteria would be found in the lining of the stomach, but as he has been dead for so long, this wasn't possible for Xi. Bacterial breadcrumbs. Scientists believe that there were originally two distinct strains of the H. pylori, an African and an Asian strain. The two are though to have merged to form the modern strain which infects people in Europe today. Rather than being infected with the same strain as Europeans today, Xi's was found to H. pylori strain more closely related to that found in modern Central and South Asia. It had been assumed that Stone Age people were already infected with the European strain of the bacteria before they settled down, giving up the nomadic life for farming, before Xi's time in the Copper Age. The findings mean that the merge event happened after Xi, and shows that the history of settlements in Europe is much more complex than previously thought. Dr. Frank Maxner said, We actually don't know what kind of people brought this African H. pylori into Europe. What we do know is that the signal for this second population which has come into Europe is strongest in Northeast Africa. What more than likely happened, is that the Northeast signal, found in modern-day Europeans, had not evolved by the time we left Africa 65,000 years ago. This study, plus others, indicate at least one other migration out of Northeast Africa, bringing these signals to the Middle East or the Fertile Crescent. Last year, a DNA study of modern people from Ethiopia and Egypt suggested that our ancestors first spread east, via the Arabian Peninsula, and entered South Asia long before the 60,000-year mark. They would later have moved westwards, to what is now Europe. He continued, this study, plus others, indicate at least one other migration out of Northeast Africa, bringing these signals to the Middle East or the Fertile Crescent. The findings also hint that, Xi may even have been sick at the time of his death. Analysis of the ancient bacterial DNA indicates it was producing toxins which could have been making the Iceman ill. While H. pylori remains relatively quiet in most people, around 10% of those infected will develop complications such as stomach ulcers and gastrointestinal problems, which mostly affect people in old age.